I wanted to do a short video to show you how to set up work lists and how they can be used in the hospital. So to start with, we're going to go to work with system tables and we will find our work list table down here at the bottom. Now Avamark comes pre-set up with this medical records control. Uh, some people use it, some people don't, but what I find work lists most useful for are tracking phone calls or notes or follow-ups or things like that. So typically what we have or what I set up is uh, one for the HM and we'll go ahead and put that code in there. We'll give it the manager's loop. Now your list code is if you want to have a treatment item automatically added to a team member's list when it's filled out. So I'm going to go ahead and put the list code here as, oh, we'll go with M for manager. Okay. I'm going to have an RX refill. Um, and we'll just go R for that code. Uh, we can have a Dr. A. A and let's go ahead and put a front desk in. So. Okay, so here we have four lists or work lists that we just created and this is their list code. The other thing that I want to do is I want to look at this and make certain that we are um, have it in the sequence that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and drag sequence up here. So this way I can see that medical records will always be the top one. So let's go ahead and change that one. There we go, we put that one all the way down at the bottom. So the first one is going to be manager. Let's have the first one be refills because that's common, the most common one that we have. Okay, there we go. So we've set up our work list. Now you can get to work list by either going to client and work list, and then you will choose the work list that you want. Or in the patient area, if you right click and go to lists, it is right here. So let's go ahead and start with a refill. This is kind of the way that I envision these things happening in a hospital. You get a phone call and a client wants a refill. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've got the client up in the background and I'm gonna go ahead and add a new work list and you can see it will automatically bring in the client information, the patient or the client's name, the patient's name. It was added by me, that's my, my code when I come in and, and when it was added. And here I can type in, you can do control alt or uh, control D for date and timestamp, but since I created it, it already has that. And we can go refill um, heartworm prevention. And I can hit OK. So now that added that to the refill work list. And as a technician, uh, if I was assigned to refilling prescriptions, I would be constantly checking the refill list to find out if there was anything that needed to be done. And I would come in here and I would just choose refills. I can see that that refill is here. I'm going to go ahead and accept that because I'm going to deal with it. And let's open it up. And you can see that now it said that it's in progress at 150. I'll look into this patient. I can do either one of two ways, search for them or right click and open patient and there they are. Um, and then I could do whatever research I needed to do. So let's go back to work list. So let's say this, this pet needs a doctor's approval for refill. So what I would do is, um, you know, need doctor approval and I would shift this to Dr. A's work list and hit OK. 
So now when I go back to my RX refill list, it's gone off of my list and it's now on Dr. A's list. So Dr. A would get notified that she's got something that she's got to do. She would go there, open it up, research the patient, and then when she's done, she can say approved. And move it back to the refill technicians list. And the refill technician then can go in, see that it's it's back on her list or his list, go ahead and complete it. And when it's done, what we would do is we would go ahead and post it to the patient. So now I'm posting it to the patient and you can see that here is the note from the work list and it was created by me for an RX refill. These were the notes that went along with it. So this makes a really easy way to uh, give phone messages, to deal with callbacks, those types of things without creating paper messages that are frequently lost or stuck on a, on a board or something like that forever and ever. And those paper messages aren't getting entered into Avamark in a very efficient way. Well, I hope this helps. There's a lot of other things that you can do with work notes or with work lists, such as adding more, more stuff fields. You can add them to treatment items so that um, when somebody orders something, it automatically will add a task to the work list. There's a number of things that you can do, but if you found this interesting and you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and give me a call. Thank you.